Howdy everybody, CX500 update number five. I'm here with my buddy John. Um, and we successfully were able to uh, pull the flywheel off with the oil filter bolt. Um, now, for those who are doing this, that it's racked their brains as much as it, it did mine, um, I had a impact wrench set to tighten. So what happened was, um, whenever I tightened this bolt, the threads were long enough, that it pushed, it pushed against the crank, uh, the crankshaft, and pushed the flywheel out, uh, and that's the goal. I don't believe that this is uh, oh, just like that. Um, something fell out there. Not entirely sure what. A little, a uh, little, a little thing. Anyhow, this thing isn't threaded on at all. Um, it just kind of sits on it. Oh, one of those things. Okay, um, it just kind of sits on it, and. Uh, that's how you get a flywheel off for a CX500. Okay, so we uh, we got the rear cover off and um, we got as far as getting the flywheel off and whatever that thing in front of it was. So now we just got the crankshaft and the uh, the crank cap right here. We weren't able to get that free, and I don't think you're supposed to or something like that. The service manual didn't say anything about it. Um, but we've got all the bolts loose. So that in case it does come off, we are able to get, take it off later on. Uh, but we took the, the front cover off to try to figure out if it's this, if it's any of these gears that have gone bad. But those are, um, the teeth look fine. If you can see that, yeah, the teeth look fine. And uh, But one thing I didn't know was that they don't, they don't line up, which I think is curious. I don't really understand that or why there's that. But they're apparently two separate gears that serve some purpose. Um, let me go and see if I can find the diagram here. Um, don't they stop? Um, here we go. And so I was trying to I was trying to think about what what could go wrong of all the things that go wrong. And so I'm thinking instead of taking that part off, I was thinking one of these gears could have gone bad, but. Looking at it up here, they're just fine. So now the next thing to figure out is, you know, how did I lock this thing up? Because um, now it won't budge at all. So, are yeah. So I guess the rods are stuck. Anyhow, I don't know if you could, if you guys could shed any light into this. I do not. This is well outside of my realm of understanding. So uh, that's where we're at. And uh, here's the next step.